How to filter emails on your MacBook. Why is email filtering important? It can help you reduce clutter and improve organization. It can help prioritize important messages, filter out spam, junk, and unwanted emails. And finally, you can save time by automating your inbox management. Now, as always, mistakes can happen when the wrong email is filtered out, especially if you're using some custom rules, but most of the time it's pretty safe. So how do mail filter filters work? Mail filters sort emails based on specific rules. These emails can be moved, flagged, or deleted automatically. And smart mailboxes can help categorize messages dynamically. So here's an example, if you guys can see. This is in Apple Mail, I believe. And you can see the active filters right below the inbox. And you can see that it's filtering out mails with attachments. So here's a Mac specific example. So as you can see in the red box, it says filter by unread. So that means an email is unread. That means it'll be filtered out. So how to set up rules in Apple Mail? First open mail, then go to preferences, and then go to rules. You can click add a rule, set conditions like sender, subject, or keywords. And then you can also choose an action, move to folder, mark as read, or et cetera. Save and apply the rule. So basically, just to make it a bit simpler, you're basically telling the mail to do something, and then the mail will do an action based on the rule you set. So if you say that, let's say, there's a, set, there's a certain person that's sending you messages, for each email that they send you, you can automatically have in mark as read. So that's just an example. Now, this is a bit complicated, the settings. So if it's not really essential, if you don't get a ton of emails, you don't have to worry about it. But if you do want to give it a shot, there is a helpful website. And maybe uh, Summer can put this in the email that you guys get. Also, we do have photo instructions coming up. So first, once you open up Apple Mail, you go to the mail icon sort of thing at the top and then click on it. And then you can click preferences. Then once you get to preferences, you can click rules. And I think that's all for that. And then for creating smart mailboxes, smart mailboxes automatically group emails that meet certain conditions. First, go to mailbox and then edit smart mailbox, a new smart mailbox. And then set conditions like unread messages or emails from a specific person. And view emails dynamically without moving them from the inbox. So this is just for more organization again. Like if you want unread messages to be in a certain spot or if you want them to be flagged, that's what smart mailboxes are for. Filtering spam and junk mail. I think this is the most important part since all of us get a lot of junk mail. You can enable junk mail filtering by going to mail, preferences, and then junk mail. Train to filter by marking messages as not junk if misclassified. So again, just like the mistakes that I've talked about, if it finds something that is junk that you don't think is junk, then you should move it back or you should mark it as not junk. And that can help train the model that they use to classify. And add trusted centers to your contacts to prevent false positives. So again, if there's someone who sends you an email and maybe their email is getting flagged a lot, you can always add them to contacts and then it shouldn't get flagged. Managing promotional emails. Unsubscribe from unwanted newsletters, un unwanted newsletters using the unsubscribe link. Use rules to send promotions to a separate folder and set up VIP contacts to prioritize important emails. So again, just building upon what we said about the scam, sometimes it might not be a scam, but it also might be something that you don't need. Like for example, if if Apple keeps sending you messages about their new phones, right? Then you can create a rule to send all of their emails to a separate folder. So only when you wanna buy a new phone, you can check that folder. Otherwise it won't be in your normal inbox. Organizing emails with folders and tags. To create folders, go to mailbox and then go to new mailbox. You can use color-coded tags to categorize emails. Drag and drop emails into folders for better organization. So as you can see here, if you go to desktop, you can control or click a file 
and to and you can then select a tag and you can see all these colors like white orange and yellow and you can categorize all of your photos or files using those tags using those colors so troubleshooting common issues if filters aren't working check the order of rules and preferences and rules Ensure the correct mailbox is selected when setting up filters and restart mails if rule do not, rules do not apply correctly. Security considerations. Always avoid clicking links in spam emails. Use two-factor authentication for added security and normally review and update email, email filtering rules. It's probably a good idea just to check the filtering rules before, like maybe like every week or so just to make sure that none of the important emails go to the filters. So now the bonus part, filtering on Gmail. So I know a lot of people use Gmail instead of Apple Mail. So there is a video on female, uh, filtering on Google Mail, but we can probably watch that in the breakout rooms just because it's easier. But to do that, you just open the email, click the three dots, choose filter messages like these, and then create the filter. And that's pretty much it for the presentation. Remember that email filtering keeps your inbox organized and efficient. You can set up rules and smart mailboxes for better automation. You can manage junk mail and prioritize important messages. And, and of course, ensure security by staying aware of phishing emails. And hopefully someone in the tech discussion room has a MacBook. I certainly don't have a MacBook, but I'm sure that at least like one of the volunteers will have a MacBook so they can share their screen and help. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a cyber senior mentor, go to cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. on Thursdays.